this is going to be 36 week update. I did one last week, but then I never uploaded it and a bunch of other stuff happened. So I figured I would just wait. Um, I am 36 weeks, two days today. Uh, I went to the doctor. Let's see what happened. What date was that? It wasn't, it was on the 27th. Yes. I ended up going to the hospital to triage, um, getting three tributylene shots to get the contractions to stop. They were just every few minutes. Um, my kids are ringing the doorbell. So, did that. Ended up going to the doctor the next Tuesday. Um, check, I don't know, this past Tuesday. Check the baby out. Um, she's still breech. And she weighs about... 7 pounds, 5 ounces. She's measuring 2 weeks ahead, which is big for me. I don't, I have 6.5 pound babies, so 7, over 7 pounds, it's just crazy. Um. Hello, my children. Um. So, um, I talked to her about, you know, breach options. I really don't want a C-section with 3 other children to take care of. Just, it's going to be so much. So, um, I met with a high risk doctor yesterday. Yeah. And, um, they did an ultrasound for like an hour and then put me up on the monitors, measured, um, movement and heart tones and contractions and all that stuff. Um, did that. And then I talked to him about doing an external cephalic version where they just manually go in and turn the baby. So we are doing that this afternoon, um, here in like an hour so much stuff left to do before I can go. We have pictures, the ballpark, a baseball game, and tonight's the night all the money's due. And I'm just not going to be there to collect it. So, um, oh well. Uh, um, oh, I've got to get ready. But, uh, so basically we go into the hospital. I haven't eaten since 8.30 this morning. I'm starving. We go into the hospital. They give me an epidural, um, a bunch of medicine to relax my uterus and relax me, I guess. And they just manually flip the baby. Um, after they do that, hold on. Hey. Okay. So, I don't know where I was. Um, go in, you get an epidural medicine to relax you. Um, they turn the baby. And then you have to stay for six hours on the monitors just to make sure baby's heart rate stays stable, um, no cramping or anything crazy like that. So that's the plan. I should be home around midnight tonight. And they say you're pretty sore the next day, but hopefully it won't be too bad. And then whenever, if you just go into labor after that, um, they say it doesn't put you into labor. With my situation, the way I get contractions and how I've always delivered early, I don't see me going a whole lot longer. Once her head is down in my pelvis and kind of engaged where it needs to be, I kind of feel like my body will take over. So I don't think it'll be too much longer. Um, but that said, I could go to May. Who knows? Um, so that's about it. Hopefully it won't be too painful. hope not. I always said I would never do this, but... When faced with that option or a C-section, I feel, I really feel like I need to try. At least try to not have a C-section. Because I just have so, with the other kids and everything, I just, I don't think it would go very well. Um, but that's it. I've gained 26 pounds. Baby looks good, healthy. I'm good, healthy, I guess. Um, oh, my battery's dead. Okay, so that is it, and hopefully I will update shortly.